update that they will be uh, opening up the uh, street here and that the uh, school right now, the lockdown is over. The suspect, however, is, still hasn't been found. They don't believe he's in the school, but they are currently looking for him somewhere throughout New Westminster here. But about uh, 1.30 this afternoon, a student uh, spied a, a, a young 14-year-old boy apparently with a handgun, and that's when the lockdown started. Uh, immediately, teachers were, uh, were told th uh, through an announcement throughout the school to lock the classroom doors. They pulled the, the blinds drawn. Uh, students were told not to use their cell phones, not to do any text messaging, to just remain quiet as they began searching room to room. And uh, ERT, the emergency response team, has been uh, going from room to room. And uh, as explained by uh, the uh, New Westminster Police, it has been a very slow process. Well, we have to take a slow safety. We're, we're looking at our paramount concern is the safety of the students. We have to do it in a slow, conservative effort uh, to ensure the safety of each student in each one of those classrooms. So again, it's a slow process, uh, but a concentrated process by highly trained individuals of our emergency tactical squad. Sit down for like two hours, and then they they told us the, there was just cops, and and they they didn't know anything, and then they, the cop came and he told us that there there were, we 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 won't have to be worried about anything, so we we just came here. And uh, we understand there will not be classes tonight, obviously, even though they have cleared the school. And uh, we're not sure when the, the traffic will start moving again, but uh, at the corner of 8th and 8th, it's been particularly quiet while this lockdown has been happening. Slowly, classroom after classroom, very slowly, have been uh, coming out of the school as they've been uh, checking each classroom along the way, Bill. Thank you, Peter.